Welcome back, True Seeker. May 27th, 2019. If you're part of my daily Patreon, this morning we talked about looking for World Series clues today, specifically May 27th. And we also talked about what today has to do with the Boston Red Sox World Series that they just won and what it has to do with the Stanley Cup finals starting today, including Boston. And lo and behold, in the headlines, we get the death of a Boston Red Sox who's remembered for an infamous World Series error from 33 years ago, 1986. So what I'm going to show you in this video is why Bill Buckner is dead today, May 27th, what today has to do with the World Series, and why he's died at age 69. This is not a natural death. This is a ritual murder, something that goes on all the time in the world of rigged sports and entertainment. Starting with the year 86, 33 years ago, we know that number's infamous with ritual sacrifice. Blood sacrifice equals 86. Think about the term 86 to get rid of. As for why he died today, May 27th, today's the 147th day of the year. World Series, in this code of letters and numbers, which is important to Freemasonry, which is credited with the creation of all the American sports, baseball, basketball, football. But in this code, World Series equals 147. Notice World Series also sums to 69, like his age of death, on the 147th day. And we'll talk about the 218 in a moment, too, because it matters. From Bill Buckner's birthday, December 14th, to today is his 165th day of his age. That's the number of the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. Abner Doubleday, the Scottish Rite Freemason, is credited with American baseball. Notice Scottish Rite equals 165 and 57. World Series is also 57. Notice the name Bill Buckner sums to 46, like sacrifice. Today's date has 71 numerology. The name Bill Buckner is also 71, so a perfect day for Bill Buckner to pass. As for it being the day leaving 218 days left in the year, death is 218. Something strange about today, to the one-year anniversary of the Red Sox winning the last World Series is 154 days. That stood out to me because Boston Red Sox equals 154, so does Double Day the surname of the Freemason credited with American baseball. The word Grand Slam equals 154. Look up the other year on the 154th day of the year. Major League Baseball set a record with the most Grand Slams in a single day on the 154th day of the year. Again, Grand Slams 154. Ritual Sacrifice is also 154. And uh, recall last year in the Red Sox 154th game, they were playing the Cleveland Indians and they tied their all-time win, win record. Strangely enough, they're playing Cleveland today as well. Cleveland equals 33, like how it's 33 years since Buckner made his error. From the actual date that the Red Sox won the World Series to today is 211 days later. 211 is the 47th prime, like the 47 degrees on the Masonic compass. Again, they closed it out last year, October 28th, Game 5. If you were following me last year, we said in July, if the Red Sox make the World Series, look for them to win in Game 5. And look for it to be directly connected to the Super Bowl, the 99th NFL season, which will conclude 99 days later and will be won by the New England Patriots, where New England equals 99. And that's exactly what happened. Boston won 4-1. to one. Super Bowl equals 41. Tom Brady won at age 41. Again, when you learn this code, you can see through the world of rig sports and how it connects directly to the ritual murders. And in case you missed my work on the World Series, the Super Bowl, and the Stanley Cup, which begins today, which features Boston. Let's go over this again. So the 2018 World Series was the 114th World Series. The MVP was Pierce, of course, a name that sums to 114. And we talked about before the event even happened, how it could be synced up with the Boston Marathon bombing. Notice from the date of the Boston Marathon bombing to the date the World Series began last year was exactly 2018 days for the 2018 World Series. Boston Marathon bombing equals 114, like the 114th World Series. And then from the day the World Series concluded to the day the Super Bowl was played was a span of 99 days. It was the 99th NFL season. New England equals 99. And again, 
Red Sox win 4-1, to one. Super Bowl equals 41, Game 5 equals 41. Go to my sports channel before Game 5 was played. I said, here it is. The Red Sox are going to close it out today and look for Chris Sale to finish off the game. And sure enough, he did, number 41. Notice this, Boston Red Sox 53, Patriots 53, Los Angeles 53, Stanley Cup 53. You see how this connects the baseball team, the football team, the opponent for the World Series. It was Los Angeles for football. And for baseball, think about how the Rams used to play in St. Louis. Now St. Louis is playing Boston in the Stanley Cup. And for one more kicker, today's Memorial Day, the day that the Stanley Cup begins. Memorial Day equals 53. And what's really interesting is if you look at Boston and St. Louis all time, Boston has 52 losses in the Stanley Cup Finals. If they lost today, they'd pick up their 53rd loss. St. Louis also has 53 wins at Boston all time. They could also be stopped on 53, but either way, the 53 is playing in game one of the Stanley Cup Finals. And um, again, this is coming May 27th, the 147th day of the year, World Series 147. For another kicker, 1935. 1935, 83 years ago from the last World Series. Think about how this streak for Boston began in 2018. In 1935, Detroit, Michigan became the last city to win the World Series, Super Bowl, and Stanley Cup, or football championship. Back then, it wasn't the Super Bowl. But that was the last time a city won three championships. Boston streak started in 2018, 83 years later. Notice Bruins is 83. And check this out. Detroit, Michigan equals 83. And Detroit is on the 83rd meridian. You know, how perfect. What a riddle. And speaking of the ritual murder today, don't forget the song Murder by Numbers came out in 83. So, and oh, by the way, from the Super Bowl to today's 114 days, like how this all began with the 114th World Series, and they've been touting this girl that's supposedly dying from some disease. You know, she's been holding up this sign at Blues Games. That equals 114 and 147, like how the Stanley Cup starts on the 147th day. By the way, 49 years ago, the Blues and Boston played in the Stanley Cup. 49 years ago. See how nicely it all works out? So, they truly couldn't have scripted it any better. And um, Bill Buckner, the latest ritual in the world of rig sports. Until next time.